Hello students and families of Westmount and Pleasant Hill Community Schools. Thank you so much for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today we're going to focus on the warm-up for the month of May. Now the students that have worked with me in the gym before know that I change the warm-up every month. I'm a little bit behind this month considering it is already May 11. So either way this is going to be the warm-up for the month of May. I encourage you to use this warm-up anytime you're about to do any sort of exercises, workouts, or even activities. So just like our warm-ups at school, we would start off with some sort of cardio. Usually that would consist of a lap of running, a lap of skipping, and maybe a lap of jogging. Now, I'm not going to obviously ask you to run any laps right now. Instead, we're going to do some running on the spot. So to begin our warm-up for the month of May, we're going to do 20 seconds of running on the spot. I got my timer here on my watch. Once I start my timer, we're going to do 20 seconds of running on the spot. Ready? Here we go. Good job. Now we're going to do a little bit of a 10 second break and then we're going to move into our next um, cardio portion of the warm up, which is going to be butt kickers for 20 seconds of butt kickers. Ready? Here we go. second rest and then we're going to move into our last cardio which is going to be skipping so instead of doing our skipping laps around the gym we're just going to do skipping on the spot this might seem a little strange considering you're not moving but just remember that it's going to be a hop on one leg and then switch to the other leg hop on the other leg switch to the other leg and hop we're going to do 20 seconds of skipping on the spot. Here we go. Good job. So we just did our three cardio. We did our running, our butt kickers, and then our skipping. Now we're going to move into our flexibility portion of the warm-up. So we're going to do some stretches. Our first stretch is going to be a combination of our Frankenstein toe touches with our standing toe touches. So what you're actually going to do is do a Frankenstein where we take our toe and touch it to our hand, opposite hand to opposite toe. And then as you come down, you're going to tip forward, staying nice and straight, and touch that foot on the ground. We're going to actually do five on one leg, five on the other, so that we do ten in total. All right, our ten seconds is definitely up. So we're going to do five on one leg, five on the other. These are called leg kicks with a toe touch. Ready? Here we go. Five on that leg, now we're gonna do five on the other leg. Won't you sing me your sweet lullaby? Just the sound of your voice is the thing that I need. Won't you sing me your sweet lullaby? I could fall for the sound of your sweet melody. Cause I just need your song, someday to sing along. So that's five on that leg, five on the other. Now we're gonna move into our next stretch. Our next stretch is going to be a rocking lunge. So what's gonna happen is, you're gonna be in that lunge position with your hands on the ground. Feel free to put your knee on the ground as well. You're going to rock forward into a nice deep lunge, and then you're going to rock yourself back so that your front leg is nice and straight with this knee 
and legs straight, toe is up, and then I'm going to rock forward back into that lunge again. Rock back, rock forward. We're gonna rock back and forward 10 times on one side, and then we'll obviously switch legs, rock back and forth 10 times on the other. Starting on whichever leg you feel like, have your hands on the ground, into that nice deep lunge. When we begin, we're gonna rock back. Here we go. Some of these stretches or some of these exercises are going to be a little bit strange. Just try your best. The biggest thing is that you are stretching out your body the way your body needs it. We're going to move on to our next stretch, which is very simple. We're just going to do some stretches with our arms and our shoulders. So to start off, we're going to do arm circles forwards. So just follow along with me because I'm going to continue to change the arm stretch one at a time. First things first, arm circles. Nice and big. Then we're gonna do nice and small. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice and small backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Next stretch we're going to do is one arm across our body, grabbing the arm on the tricep, pulling it in towards us for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch arms. Same thing on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to take our elbow behind our head, try and keep this head nice and straight, don't tip forward too much, keep your body nice and straight, holding this stretch for five, four, three, two, one, switching arms, put the other arm behind you, put that hand at the back of your back, we're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Last one we're gonna do is we're gonna interlock our hands behind us. We're gonna slowly bring your arms up behind you. Only go as far as you can. And then hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Bring those arms down. Bring them back up again. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So we did our three cardio, and then we just did our three stretches. Now we're gonna move into the strength portion of our warm up. So we're gonna do three different strength exercises. All right, so for our first strength exercise, we're gonna do star rotations. I want you to find yourself in that push-up position. What you're gonna do is we're gonna rotate ourselves, make our body nice and big, like a star, and we're actually gonna point to the stars as well. And then we're gonna put our hand back down and then rotate to the other side and point to the stars. The biggest thing here is having a stiff body, working that core, keep yourself nice and stiff in that push-up position and balance. All right, we're gonna try and see if we can do 10 in total. Ready, go. I'm gonna search while you are my I'm 
search for you all night long. Great job. Now we're going to move into our next strength exercise. This one's called skeet strides. Put it like this. I'm going to start on one side. I'm going to take a nice big hop with one leg to the other side and land. And then hop back and land. I'm going to go back and forth. And the reason it's called skate strides is because as we jump from one foot to the other, it looks like we're skating. We're going to do 10 in total. We're ready. Here we go. to our last strength exercise and this is the last thing we're going to do for this warm-up. It's going to be burpees. If you're not familiar with burpees, this is how it's going to work. First thing you're going to do is jump to the ceiling and try and touch the sky. Next thing you're going to do is go down into a plank, a push-up position, and then you're going to get yourself back up again so that you can jump to the ceiling and jump to the sky again. So as an example, it looks a little like this. Jump up, down into this plank. Feel free to do a push-up if you want to. Don't have to. Come back up so that you can jump back up again and repeat that. We're going to do it 10 times in total. Here we go. Job. So definitely the hardest part of the warm-up was that one right there, but that is the last one and we are done our warm-up for the month of May. So that warm-up is just meant to get your blood flowing, get your heart beating, get your breathing a little bit heavy and even sweating. It's to prepare your body so that it is ready for whatever workout, exercise or activity you're going to be doing. Please come back to this video, perform this warm-up before you move into any workout that I give you. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune into this video. And until next time, remember to stay safe and stay active.